In this video, we're going to look at how to solve equations involving algebraic fractions. Um, now, I would recommend you watch the video 111 on corporate maths, first of all, um, because this is a slightly more advanced video where you've got x's or variables on the denominator. So, our example we're going to look at is 12 over x plus 1 subtract 6 over x minus 4 equals negative 4. So what we're going to do is we're going to times both the numerator and denominator of the first fraction by the denominator of the other one, and same thing to this one, the numerator and denominator of the second fraction by the denominator of the first fraction. And as you'll see, that give you that will give you a common denominator for both of those fractions. So what we're going to do is we're going to times the 12 and, and the x plus 1. Now because there's two terms in the denominator here, we're going to put that in a bracket. So we're going to write that as x plus 1. And we're going to times both of these by x minus 4. And again, because there's two terms here, we're going to put that on a bracket, x minus 4 and x minus 4. Okay, so next, what we're going to then do is um, we're going to write our subtract sign. And we're going to uh, times both the numerator and denominator of the second fraction by the denominator of the first fraction. So we've got our, x, our, our 6 and as our denominator, our x minus 4. Because there's two terms on the denominator here, x minus 4, I'm going to put that in a bracket like before. And we're going to times both of these by our x plus 1. And because, remember, x plus 1 is 2 times, we'll put that in a bracket. So x plus 1 on the top and our x plus 1 on the bottom. And all of that will still equal negative 4. Okay, so we've got our um, we've got a common denominator here. Now, you, it might not automatically look like a common denominator, but it is. We've got our x plus 1 times by x minus 4, and we've got our x plus 1 times our x minus 4. Now, they're written the other way around. We could switch those around, and that'll be you know very very clear that it's a common denominator. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the numerators for both of them. So that's going to give me 12x minus 48. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the common, uh, going to keep the denominator in brackets just for the moment. So I'm going to keep that as um, x plus 1 bracket x minus 4. And for the other uh, fraction, I'm going to times uh, both the, um, I'm going to multiply the bracket, so it would give me 6x plus 6 over, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch these two brackets around, the x minus 4 and the x plus 1, so it'll just be x plus 1, x minus 4, and again now it'll sort of, uh, it looks more clear that they've got a common denominator, and that equals negative 4. Okay, now whenever we're um, subtracting fractions, if they've got a common denominator, you can just subtract the numerators. So we're going to do 12x subtract 6x. So 12x subtract 6x is 6x. And be careful here, we've got minus 48 subtract 6. Um, if that was a negative there, you'd need to be careful because it would be minus 48 subtract minus 6, but it's not, it's just minus 48 subtract 6. Now minus 48 subtract 6 would be minus 54. And that's all over x plus 1 x minus 4 and that equals negative 4 okay so all we've done there is just take away we've taken away the numerators now what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm, I'm going to bring out I don't really like the fact it's got x plus 1 x minus 4 on the denominator here what I'm going to do is I'm going to times both sides here by x plus 1 x minus 4 okay so I'm going to multiply the left hand side by that and the right hand side by that now I'm timesing the left hand side by x plus 1 x minus 4 to get rid of it on the denominator so I'm just going to be left with 6x minus 54. And on the other side, well, I'm going to have minus 4, but I'm timesing it by this whole expression. So it's going to be bracket x plus 1, x minus 4. Now what I'm going to do here is expand out the right-hand side, bring this over to make it equal to 0, and then solve this quadratic. So it'll give me 6x minus 54 equals, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to expand the pair of brackets first of all. There's going to be x squared minus 4x, plus x minus 4. Okay, and I'm just going to go up here now, so I'll just go over to the other side. Okay, so we've got again, our left hand side is going to stay the same, so 6x minus 54, and that's going to equal minus 4 bracket, and let's just simplify the inside the brackets here, so x squared minus uh, 3x, because you had minus 4x plus an x is minus 3x, and that's minus 4. And what I'm going to do now is multiply this bracket. So that's going to be 6x minus 54 equals, well, minus 4 times x squared. Well, that's going to be minus 4x squared. Minus 4 times minus 3x would be plus 12x. And minus 4 times minus 4 would be plus 16. 
Now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to uh, make the right hand side zero because I've got minus 4x squared on that side. I'm just going to add 4x squared to both sides, subtract 12x from both sides and subtract 16 from both sides so that the right hand side will become zero. So that will give me, bringing this over, so it'll be four, uh, 6x minus 54 and then plus 4x squared minus 12x and minus 16 and that equals zero and simplifying the left hand side will give me uh, 4x squared and um, we've got our 6x take away 12x that's minus 6x and we've got minus 54 subtract 16 which would be minus 70 and that equals zero I'm going to divide this through by 2 first of all, just to give me a slightly easier um, quadratic to factorise. So 2x squared minus 3x minus 35 equals 0. So bracket, 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 bracket equals 0. Uh, we know it's going to be 2x and x inside the brackets, and let's think what it's going to be then um, in terms of the numbers. Um, so they're going to times the giver to be minus 35, and we need to make, get, uh, make it so that it's got minus 3x in the middle. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the 5 on the right-hand side and the 7 on the left-hand side. Um, the reason I've done that is because, well, 7 and 5 will times the giver to be 35. Um, we've got our 2x here, so 2x times the 5 will be 10x, and that will be, well, I can make it so that's going to be, um, they will want to be 7x, so they're free apart, so that, that's how I'm going to get this minus 3 here. So I'm going to put a minus sign on this side and a plus sign here. Let's just check it. 2x squared minus 10x plus 7x, so that's minus 3x, and then minus 35. And then we're just going to solve this, so that means that 2x plus 7 will equal 0, or this x minus 5 will equal 0. That means that 2x equals minus 7, so x equals minus 7 over 2, or minus 3.5, Well, in this one you get x equals 5. And that's our two answers. So we've solved this um, We've solved this equation involving algebraic fractions. Um, and okay, it had x terms on the denominator, but what we do is use times the numerator and denominator of the first fraction by the denominator of the other one, and the numerator and the denominator of the second fraction by the numerator or the denominator of the first one. And then that way you'll get a common uh, denominator, and then you just need to be very careful with your algebra whenever you're solving it. Um, generally, you'll be left with a quadratic, and you'll get two solutions generally. Okay, let's have a look at another example. Okay, uh, this time it looks very similar to the first one. Now on this one, we've actually got uh, um, x on the numerator as well. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna times both the numerator and denominator of the first fraction by x minus two, and we're gonna times the numerator and denominator of the second fraction by x plus three. So the first fraction, well, we're gonna have x, and we're gonna times it by x minus two, so let's put that in brackets, x minus two, and it's gonna be over. Well, again, the uh, denominator is x plus three. We're gonna put that in a bracket because there's two terms, and then bracket x minus two and we're adding this time, and then we've got seven, and we're gonna times that by x minus, or x plus three, we're gonna put that in a bracket, and again, we've got x minus two, so we'll put that in a bracket, so x minus two because there's two terms, and we're times that by x plus three. So what we've done there is just to recap, we've times both the top and the bottom of this fraction by x minus two, and we've times top and bottom of this fraction by x plus three, and that equals three. <clears throat> Okay, so let's expand out the top line. So it's going to be x squared minus 2x. And on the denominator, it'll be x plus 3, x minus 2. And on the other fraction, we're going to get 7x plus 21, multiplying out the bracket. And we'll switch these around, so it'll be x plus 3, bracket x minus 2, and that all equals 3. Okay, um, now what we're going to do is now we've got a common denominator. We can simply, this time we're adding the numerators. So we're just going to get from the top line, we're going to get x squared. Now we had minus 2x plus 7x, so that'll be plus 5x. And then we've just got um, plus 21, so plus 21. And then the denominator will be our x plus 3 and bracket x minus 2. And that all equals 3. So whenever, remember, whenever you're adding uh, fractions, if they've got the same denominator, you can just add the numerators. And then what we're going to do is we're going to times both sides by our x plus 3x minus 2. That'll remove it from the left-hand side of the denominator, and it'll bring it up to the numerator, or bring it up here on the right-hand side. So we're going to get x squared plus 5x plus 21 equals 3 bracket x plus 3x minus 2.
Okay, and just like before, what we're going to do is expand out the right hand side, bring it all over to one side, and then factorize if possible. And this one isn't, so we're going to then use the quadratic formula. So uh, x squared plus 5x plus 21. What we're doing is we're going to expand these brackets here. So that'll be equal to 3 bracket x squared minus 2x plus 3x minus 6. And that will give us x squared plus 5x plus 21 equals plus 21 equals 3 bracket x squared plus x minus 6. And then multiplying out the right hand side will give us equals 3x squared plus 3x minus 18. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring all this over to the right hand side. So we're going to get 0 equals 2x squared minus 2x. And then we've got to be careful here. It's minus 18, take away 21. So it's going to be minus 39. Uh, and then unfortunately, this doesn't factorize. So we then use the quadratic formula and solve it. So we just call our a equal to 2, our b equal to minus 2, and our c is equal to minus 39. And then we would just solve this using the quadratic formula. Um, and I'm not going to do that. I'll let you have some practice of that. But the answers are whenever you solve that, get that x is equal to minus 3.94 or x equal to 4.94 to two decimal places. And that's it. Uh, so they're very similar. The main thing is that whenever you're solving these, that you give them a common denominator and that you keep, if there's more than one term, you, you put it in a bracket and you're being very careful with your algebra throughout.